Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another memory spread for you guys and this is for the week of June 17th through June 23rd. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I am currently memory planning in my Erin Condren planner, which means that um, I'm going back in to fill out everything that I've done after the week is already over. And the way that I track what I've done is um, through the notes app of my phone. Every night before I go to bed, or at least I try to do it every night, um, I just kind of jot down what I've done for the day so that I have a running log of the things that I've done each week so that I can go back in and fill it out. So for this week, um, I have a really pretty foiled kit. This is from a shop called Sticker Bloom, and this is in rose gold foil, which is um, the foil that I have the least amount of stickers in. For some reason, I think it's really gorgeous, but I just tend to purchase less of rose gold compared to like gold and silver. Um, so anyways, really quickly, I wanna show you guys what's included in the kit. This was just something that came with the kit, but I don't think I'm gonna be pulling this in. So here are the nine full boxes and three quarter boxes at the top. We've got the tech stickers and some um, heart check flags. We have a couple quarter boxes, some little things, a Hello Weekend banner and icons, and also a set of these like bow headers. Um, there's definitely a lot packed onto this page. On this page, we have some rose gold foiled headers. We've got the date covers, which are really light in color, so you can't really see it very well. And then we have some date dots. Here we have lots of functional boxes. We've got flags, a movie marquee, headers, and then these third boxes. And then on this page, we have the foiled bottom washi. We've got some foiled boxes and then more, I think these are like third and half boxes that have like a little decoration on the side, so it's super cute. And I did pick this up in the mini kit format. She offers a larger um, kit, which has a lot of stickers that I don't really use in my planning, so I opted for this mini size instead. And yeah, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get started. I've been trying to catch up on my planning as much as I can while I have some time. So yeah, let's just jump right in. I placed down the bottom washi on both sides and that's pretty much it. So I go ahead and move on to my sidebar. For my top corner box, I placed down the quote box that says life sweet. And I think that one's really pretty and I love the font that she uses. I think it matches this kit and the rose gold foiling really well. And then I covered up the flag in the top corner of the Erin Condren planner. I decided for this week not to use the date covers um, because like I mentioned earlier, the writing on it is really hard to read and I didn't really feel like going over it again in pen. So I just decided to leave it. And then continuing with my sidebar, I placed down a foiled header and then used the habit tracker to track my working out which is something that I've been tracking for quite some time now and then I put down a quarter box with a um, heart checklist but it's like a circle checklist and then at the bottom I used another strip of the foiled header with a Monday through Sunday box I think that was also from my leftovers collection because I don't think this mini kit came with any sidebar stuff except the habit tracker um, but anyways then I pulled in this rose gold foiled bow and that is from planning like a pro then moving on to Monday, I first started by putting down this really pretty lace patterned um, rose gold foiled header. Oh my gosh, that was a mouthful. Um, this is from Rose Color Days and I've had it for quite some time, but um, like I said earlier, I don't use rose gold a lot. So um, every time I do, I try to pull that in. And then I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from my spoiled planner to mark that I had gotten some coffee on this Monday. I then had a meeting at work, so I used one of these really cute um, foiled sticky note stickers that's from Hazel Sticker, and I paired it with a pencil or a pen sticker from Planning Like a Pro to create kind of like a little notepad look, and I thought that was really cute, and then I put down a full box at the bottom of the day. Moving back to the middle, I placed down a strip of the foiled header and um, this to clean script is from K Stickers Co. I use that to create my header. And then I put down a three heart checklist to mark some things that I got done that day. And one of them was to mop because my parents were coming in the next day. So I was doing some last minute cleaning and the mopping sticker is from Hello Petite Paper. I then pulled in this um, small little things box um, and then a quarter box underneath that to mark that I had filmed. The film clapper icon is from Mandy Plans and originally I had brush lettered the word film but at the very very end um, because I didn't brush letter anything else I felt like it didn't match the rest of the spread so I do switch that out. And then on the little things I just noted that I went to H Mart to grab some groceries. 
Moving to Tuesday, first I started by placing down a half box at the top to mark that I had worked on reports that day at work. Even though these students were already out for summer break, I did still have to work this entire week. Um, so you'll see me just putting in little things that I did. Then I layered some foiled washi strips together to create a little background. And that clean sticker that I put down is from Happy Dia Stickers. I then decided that the background was a little too thick, so I removed one of the strips. But later on, you will see me changing that up again because I still didn't like how it looked. Um, that day before we went to go pick up my parents, um, I went and grabbed some boba and del taco. So I put down a boba sticker from Plans with the Nest to mark that. And then I used another one of those lace headers from Rose Color Days and then a full box underneath that. Then underneath that full box, I used a today header with a little things to mark that we picked up my parents from the airport and it was so good to see them. I hadn't seen them since um, the beginning of January when I visited them in Taiwan. So that was a really nice little reunion and I pulled in this really happy Maru sticker from Paper and Milk. It's been a tradition for quite a few years that the first dinner that they have is um, Korean barbecue. So we definitely had to make a stop at our favorite restaurant. And that Korean barbecue sticker is also from Plans with Vanessa. On Wednesday, I put down the full box at the top, and like I mentioned earlier, I did switch out the color of that washi strip that I had put down on Tuesday, and I just switched it out for a pinkish one instead. Moving back to Wednesday, I first put down a Today header with a quarter box, and that laptop sticker is from Sticker Blush. I use that to mark that I worked on reports again on Wednesday, and then I grabbed lunch with a coworker, so I marked that by using a Fuzz sticker from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we watched a movie, so I used a movie marquee and that came in the kit, and then I put down a lace header with a quarter box to mark that I went to T-Mobile with my parents to um, get their SIM cards so that their phone could be used um, during the time that they were here. I then put down a flag from the kit with a foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that we did hot pot night with my parents that night. Um, they were staying with us during this time, so um, we definitely got a chance to hang out with them for quite a bit. And then on top of the movie marquee, I put down a popcorn sticker from my spoiled planner to mark that we all watched a movie together. It was Murder Mystery on Netflix. And then for Thursday, I started by putting down a full box at the bottom, and then I moved back up to complete the rest of the day. So first I put down a Today header with a half box, that laptop sticker is from Tickled Pink Planning, and I use that to mark that we had our last psych meeting of the year, which is exciting. And then I put down a little things to mark my lunch. Um, underneath that, I used a lace header again with a two heart checklist to mark some things that I did when I got home. And one of the things I did was to take a nap, so I pulled in this sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a Pro. On Thursday night, we got pho with my parents, and um, I really wanted to use that pho sticker from Hazel Sticker, but because I already used it on Wednesday, I decided to replace it with another sticker, which is from Echo Hui Craft Co., and so I got to use that pho sticker on Thursday. I then put down another flag with a foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that we went to the jacuzzi after dinner. On Friday, I first started by putting down a foiled header, and initially I put down a flag sticker, but then I switched it out for a location tag sticker instead because I felt like the flag was just a little bit too large for that space. I then used a half box to mark that I wrapped things up at work. I just kind of finished out my last to-dos and items for the year. And then um, I put down a full box underneath that and I really love this full box. I think it's so gorgeous and I would love to have that at my house. Um, but anyways, I then used a to-do list with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I did that evening. One of the things I did was working out. So I used this um, workout shoe sticker, which is from Panda Bird Design. At the end of the night, I discovered some new phone games, which was definitely very dangerous because I ended up playing one of them quite a bit um, over the summer. And to mark them, I used this phone sticker. I think it's from Tickled Pink Planning based on the color. Um, and yeah, I just wrote in the names of the games on that half box. Before moving to the weekend, I decided to white out the flag on the right-hand side of my planner and cover it up with a flag from the kit. And then I put down a full box at the top of Saturday. I opted not to use the weekend banner for this week because it was also really light in color and you couldn't really see it. So um, I decided I didn't really need it. Um, so anyways, first thing I put down is a foiled header with a gold foiled remember sticker from Rose Color Days on top of that. And I used a quarter box to mark that I was obsessed with one of the phone games that I had just discovered. It's called Stardew Valley and it's so fun. I like played it all summer and I just love it. But anyways, underneath that I filmed my Hawaii travel plan with me and so I used um, the stationary sticker which is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. 
I then went to the pool. I was trying to get a base tan before we went to Hawaii to like reduce my chance of getting burned. That sun sticker is from Paper and Milk. I used a lace header with a half box underneath that to mark our date night. And then at the end of the night, we took a really long walk because I was playing the Harry Potter like Pokemon Go game. It was called Wizards Unite. And you have to walk around to like catch these monsters and things like that. So that's why we took the long walk. That shoe sticker is from Sticker Sis. And then I put down a full box at the bottom of Sunday because I already knew that's where I wanted to put that. And then uh, moving back to the top, I first put down a to-do header. And then I used this large sleep in sticker that that is from Toffee Bananas, but I did end up switching it out for a smaller size sticker instead from the same sheet um, because as you see, this Workout Girl sticker that I pulled in from Tuli Plans is quite large and I didn't want two large stickers next to each other. Um, then underneath that, I put down another lace header with a large um, rose gold foiled post-it sticker from Hazel Sticker. I really love that one. It filled up the entire space of the Erin Condren box, so it's definitely a great way to take up some space if you don't have have a lot of things to mark um, but on that I noted that we went to our friend's place to play board games for pretty much the entire day and that game Maru sticker is from paper and milk I then put down a quarter box with a bow sticker from planning like a pro to mark that I played more of my phone game Stardew Valley when I got home like I said I was totally obsessed and while it's not something really interesting to mark it definitely consumed a large part of my life during this time and so I do want it to reflect in my planner I filled out my sidebar which is always one of the last things that I do and then like I mentioned way at the beginning I ended up switching out the box where I had written film because I didn't end up brush lettering anything else so I felt like that font was just a little too thick and didn't quite match with the rest of the spread. I'm now showing you these stickers that I have left. I have a lot and I'm doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys my completed spread and all the foiling that's included. And that is it for this week's plan with me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I think this kit is so pretty with all the elements of like the bees and the honey and things like that. I think it's so cute and definitely not like a traditional um, planner kit theme. So I really enjoyed using this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions, um, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. And yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.